I always encourage men to move out of their parents' home if they want to settle down. So you have to rent an apartment or rent a house or buy a house or you can build one. This will enable you to have privacy in your home. And as such, that home belongs to the man and his wife. So your son and his wife now are the ones in charge of their home. And as such, mothers, listen to me. Okay? If your sister give this to your mom to watch, give this, send this video to your mom. If your sister give this to your mom to watch, give this, send this video to your mom to watch, okay? Number one, as a mother, do not visit your son without first ringing him or informing his wife. It's very vital. And do not feel that it's my son's house. After all, this is my son's house and I can do whatever it is I want. No, my mom. No, my darling. No, mother. It is no longer your house. Okay. Your daughter-in-law have the full control of the house. So you need to respect her. It's not just your son's house. Except your son is not married or... Uh, if the marriage is not legal, maybe the woman is still a concubine. But if she is not, if she's legally married to your son, then she has every right in that home. Please call your daughter-in-law or call your son. And please, husbands, always inform your wife about your mother's visit. This will enable your wife to prepare very well. Maybe she'll have to go to the market and buy things to make food, especially if she is of different tribe from your own, from your mom, so that she will blend and prepare local food for your mom. She'll prepare a room for your mom. Okay, please. Number two. Mothers, please be a neutral counselor to your son and his wife. Avoid taking sides. I will repeat it again. Please avoid taking sides when you are settling issues between your son and his wife. That is why I said be a neutral counselor. All right? Okay. That aside, number three, please do not be judgmental towards your daughter-in-law. Why is it okay that maybe sometimes you may be talking to your daughter over time, there may be a heated argument with your daughter that she may be like, Mom, please, I don't want to hear this anymore. Please, it's okay. I've heard what you're saying or I've heard what you said and she will just walk out. And you'll be like, come back here. Come back here. Don't you dare walk out of me. I know after a while, it, it, it will settle and she will come back again and you feel will laugh. But if your daughter-in-law, she will say, ah, mom, I don't like what you are saying, please. I do not like the way you're talking to me or anything. Then you go and call the kinsman. It will become a taboo. Be like, she's not trained. No. However you treat your own children, treat your daughter-in-law, that is why she is a daughter, daughter-in-law, meaning that marriage made her your daughter by law, and as such, she deserves to be treated the same way as you treat your daughters or your children. It's very important you know that. Okay, please, number four, always state your movements, state your intentions when you visit your son's house. Please do not stay in your son's house longer than necessary. Some mothers-in-law will pack their load, they say they want to stay one week 
And before you know it, they are there for one month. Two weeks will turn to two months. No! Especially in African home. No. Please go back to your house. Give your son space. Give him privacy to enjoy his home. Yes. All right. Another point I'm going to raise is number five. Please do not influence your son's decision right in his home. That is very wrong of you. Yes, you're a mother. Allow your, your daughter-in-law's input to matter in that home. Some, some men are just puppies to their mother. They always want their mom to be involved in every decision to make, they make in their life. No. Once he's married, please always allow his wife to make certain decisions. You can suggest, let it be a suggestion, but always push it back. Push back the, 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 the message to the man to go and talk to the wife. You'll be like, okay, this is my own opinion. What do you think? What did your wife say about it? Give the wife the room to also decide to make decision in that house. In fact, let that decision be between the husband and the wife. Your own is just a suggestion. Please. Number six. Do not interfere except you are invited. Do not say because you're a mother, you visited your son, maybe there is this heated argument going on. And, um, you know, and both of them started um, abusing each other or maybe throwing words out there. And you'll be like, oh, how dare you talk to my son? Oh, is that the way she talks to you, I would never take it. I would never tolerate that. You don't do it. No, you have no rights. In my son's house, yes, it's also the woman's house. Okay? Listen and know the issues. And please remove yourself. Mind your business. After all, in your own home, there are times you may raise your voice in anger. Can two work together except they agree? They may, before they agree, maybe it's through such um, conversation or argument that will lead to agreement. Please leave them alone. Except it is life threatening, but if it is not, please. Leave them alone. Do not interfere. We are women. Women are ministers of our home. You are a minister in your own house. There are times you may raise your voice. Maybe something happened in that house. Or you, you try to talk to your husband and he, you didn't get him to listen. And you say to raise your voice in anger. You are human. So do not try to interfere in your son's home. Observe as a mother. Observe them. But prevent whatever it is that is going to occur, even if it's life-threatening. Okay? Another point. Number seven. Pray for your children's marriage. And refrain from instigating your children against your daughter-in-law. It's very simple. Okay? Karma is a bitch. It will deal with you if you are not careful. Yeah. My mothers, please, do not prevent your son from establishing his wife. After all, the two of them are now one. Okay? Yes. You're, 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 you have other children. You have children. You're the mother. He will take care of you. However, it is your son's duty to establish his wife. Just the way you would want your son-in-law to establish your daughter.
mother. Be a mother. And also pray, you know, pray for your son to get a Pray for your son to get a wife. And you will be happy. You will be a fulfilled mother. Like I said. Two people from different homes came together and joined us. Whatever God has joined together, mothers, do not try to put us on that so that God will bless you and bless your daughters and bless your children. Thank you. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so and like this video, send this video to your friends. Okay, if you're a and subscriber, you know what to do. Have a lovely day. We'll meet again. Bye.